Hey everyone, it's Erin Smith of the Starters Club, and today I'm recording this video because I'm probably going to have a little vulnerability hangover, I'm not going to lie to you, but I felt it was really important because I feel like everybody, when you go on Facebook, everybody's got the smiles, business is perfect, life is perfect, everything's wonderful, but you have no idea what's going on behind the scenes, and you feel like crap because you're not there, right? You're having a bad day or whatever, and I just wanted to share a moment that I had in hopes that if anybody ever gets there, you don't quit. Because I last night, I hit a breaking point, I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like I'm being pulled in a thousand directions. I've never started a business before with two kids. Uh, it's been so different. It's been so hard. I feel like I'm not getting the traction I need. I feel like I'm not getting the things done that I want to. I feel like even though a year ago, this business was solely an idea, it wasn't even a business, um, you know, I'm not where I want to be. And I feel like some days I spin, I don't get anywhere. And I feel, you know, I'm, I'm trying to juggle so many balls in the air right now that, you know, I just hit a breaking point. I actually am supposed to do a half marathon at the end of April and I haven't even run in like a year. But long story short, I'm feeling all these things. And last night I'm sitting there doing video and we played with the green screen, so I'm trying to play with things, thinking it's not going to take that long. And it ends up I'm spending hours trying to find a backdrop for this thing. And hours I don't have. I've got 50,000 things that I should be spending my time doing that I'm trying to get done and gaining traction. And I went to bed last night, and I said to my fiancé, I'm like, I'm, I want to quit. I really, really want to quit right now. And I feel like going back to corporate America would be easier. I could just ride it out for a couple of years. I feel like I am the worst parent in the world right now because I'm not there. I don't feel like I'm there for my kids, even though I'm physically home all day. I feel very mentally checked out. I feel crappy. I feel like a really crappy person right now. And I just, I want, I, I really want to run from this. And this morning I woke up still feeling crappy. And I, and this is where having entrepreneur friends is crucial because I have a mastermind group and I just was honest with them today. And I'm like, you know what? Today's been hard. It's been really freaking hard and I want to quit. I'm not going to quit, but I want to quit. And I have a phone date with one of them later where I probably will cry. I'll probably just get a few things out, but it's really important that you have people that you can talk to about this so you don't quit. And what's funny is I was editing my book. So I've finally finished my first book. I'm going through my final edit. And as I'm reading this, I'm like, I can actually use some of the stuff that I'm advising other people. I need to be reminded of this. I need to be reminded of a time when I moved from Arizona or from Wisconsin to Arizona. And six months in, I was not finding anything and I wanted to quit and I wanted to move back to Wisconsin, but I, I toughed it out and it ended up being one of the best decisions I ever made. I need to be reminded of these things. So if I do, is there, so, is there one other person who could pick this up and just need that reminder? And if that's the case, I can't quit. I can't quit. And then what's amazing, and I'm probably going to lose it when I talk about this, but it's so important to have a solid why. And if you know me, my why is all about, I want my own dog rescue. I want to be able to fund it myself, uh, specifically for Rottweilers. It's just so important. I share this. Anybody who knows me knows my passion for them. And I stopped editing for one second, jumped on Facebook, and a friend had posted this article about this Rottweiler who, she asked if I'd seen it, and it was basically an unrecognizable Rottweiler that they rescued and got back to, you know, health and I lost it. I absolutely lost it because I'm like, you just never know what that one person needs at that moment. And if you quit and you go away, yeah. you, you're never going to experience that or you're never going to help that person. And this stuff is hard and you can't, you know, I, I'm giving myself permission for the first time ever to stop beating myself up over not moving fast enough. Uh, the enough word is a word I use all the time in my vocabulary. It's just never enough. And you know, it's like every day that you're in a positive direction, that's a good thing. It doesn't have to mean it's miles. It just has to be a positive direction. And if you quit now, you just never know whose life you can't affect or help or change. And so 
I had it. I had a crappy day. I had an I quit one a moment. We have them. And it's not the norm for the people smiling on Facebook. We all know that Facebook is a bunch of crap sometimes because nobody's honest. And not that I want a pity party or anybody to tell me I'm awesome and keep up the good work. I just want to be honest that we all have those moments. We all have breakdowns. We all have moments that it gets really flipping hard and stopping would be way easier than pushing through. But put my big girl panties back on. I'm back at it. I had my moment. I'm not going to quit because I know this uphill battle, something is just amazing on the downhill turn. So if you ever have those, don't quit. We've all been there. Um, but just, you never know, you never know where your light is going to shine. Like my friend who put that on Facebook today, she has no idea the effect that that had on me. I mean, like bawling for probably 20 minutes effect. So reach out, help somebody and you just never know, you know, and keep doing what you're doing because you never know the light you could potentially shine on someone. So just wanted to get this out there. Uh, Probably wake up tomorrow with a hangover as I post this, but I just want for people to know, don't give up. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't quit. It's hard. It's hard as hell, but it's all worth it in the end.